Oh, there's the queue. It says you are live. All right. Well, good evening and welcome. Today's already the 19th. We're on what day of the week, Tim? Uh, this would be Tuesday. This is a Tuesday. <laughs> Terrific Tuesday is what we might call it in our parenting with universal principles. Now, this is going to be an exciting night tonight. We have a special guest. His name is Tim Bush, Mr. Tim. He's a tall guy. He's a dad. Very rare in this movement because it's usually the moms. No, yes, Tim. Absolutely. Right. And we're not taking away from the dads, but thank God for the moms because sometimes dads feel like they might have a choice <laughs> and they usually sometimes go, I'm going to work extra hours. But the moms, thank God for the moms because they are the ones that have that emotional umbilical cord. To mm -hmm. always do whatever it takes to make sure our kids stay in the right limelight. Absolutely. So we're going to jump right in here tonight. This is going to be a interview with Tim talking about some things of uh, before we met, when we met, during, and kind of what his story is. What we're really looking to do is to, one, bring some awareness. You're going to maybe see something here you've never seen before. Two... You're going to learn maybe something or, or hear something that you never knew was even possible. But more importantly, we're looking to breathe life into the ones that are lost, that are looking for an answer. And if you're watching this here tonight, God bless you that you are a fighter. You are somebody who will not give up. And I'm talking to the moms and dads out there that you know that there's got to be something similar to what Tim's story is here tonight. So why don't we just go ahead and jump right in and introduce who you are and what part of the big blue marble would we find you on? Uh, yeah, I'm Tim Bush, uh, father of two kids, uh, wife, Nicole. Uh, kids are, Rowan is 11, uh, Kalina's five, will be six next uh, in a few months here. And uh, on the blue, big blue marble, I'm in uh, Clearwater, Florida. I think they call that, isn't that the Panhandle, Florida? No, there is a Panhandle in Florida, but that's not really part of Florida. No, you're like the part that's pointing down towards Cuba. Yeah, 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 that's exactly. It. On the West Coast in the middle, yeah. Right, <laughs> where whenever it gets to become winter, you might have to put a shirt on, I heard. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sometimes socks. <laughs> All right, so we know that you are here in the States. You got a couple of genius kids, mm -hmm. and they're probably the typical family, right? two kids or 2.2 yeah. kids, white picket yeah. fence, 2.2 cars, those kinds of things. Yes. Yes. But where would we like to start here? Do you want to go all the way back and think about what it was when you were having this idea to become a family and what was that vision? And we'll move forward from there. Yeah. The, the vision was, uh, yeah, we, I guess we, we you know, wanted kids for the sake of having kids. It was the right time you know, financially stable, all the right reasons. I did always want kids, but I, and I didn't know there, you know, there, there was that missing instruction manual. So when you actually have kids, you know, there's a romantic version we all have of, you know, I, kids are going to be perfect, sweet, and good, teach them everything. <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I, I did, I did have somewhat uh, an idea of what was coming about, you know, especially early on the sleepless nights and all that stuff, but, uh, nothing really prepares you for when they, you know, um, I'd say more of the four to five when they can start, you know, they start talking back and all that stuff. And, uh, that's when their personality really, really comes out and all that. Uh, so yeah, we weren't prepared for Rowan, uh, for sure. <laughs> um, so we had this idea that these kids were just going to be picture perfect. And yeah. then, you know, you could have the little backyard and the swing and all these other things. But what mm -hmm. age would you say? And there's always a, that stereotype. Well, you just wait till they're two. They're terrible twos. Wait yeah. till that horrific threes. Right. And I mean, later on, we found out that there's a game of opposites where they're really terrific. But what mm -hmm. age did you find yourself going, okay, no instruction manual. Mm -hmm. And you started looking for some advice, like where do I, do I need to get new batteries for these kids? Is there yep. a software upgrade? Like what's yep. going on here? I'm trying to remember Rowan's age. It's way before Kalina was born. He might've been like three or four. Nicole says it all the time. She remembers 
the day he woke up without a smile. That I think was the catalyst of all this stuff. He, he just started to get miserable and we did it to him, you know? Um, yeah. You're kind of talking from like hindsight, looking back. Yes. yes it, yeah. it wasn't like you, this wasn't like you got together and go, mm, no. honey, wah, ha, 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 ha. Right. Exactly. What can we do to really mess up these kids right. lives? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Good. Just yeah. want to disclaim that because yes. I mean, none of yeah. us sign up to, to no. get where we are. No, exactly. Yeah. We didn't purposely do it to them, right? Okay. Hindsight, yes, of course. We, you know, we create the environment. Kids are a product of their environment. It had to be, you know. <laughs> right. As we learn that creating yeah. the right environment, we all yeah. basically will we will adapt and mm -hmm. master the environment that we're always in, whether it's yeah. positive, negative, or, or neutral. And that's kind of one of the things that we'll be bringing awareness to tonight. But round round three to four. And yeah. then it almost had like a permanent frown face, she said. Yeah. Yeah. You could see it in his eyes. Um, yeah. We, uh, you know, we started doing the therapy route, um, you know, and, uh, the, you know, the, what we heard from therapy is we can never stop therapy. If you stop therapy, he'll revert back the way he was. Um, we did Hang that. On a second. Can I hear that again? You, yeah. You, you start asking for some advice. Yep. And it feels like they have a long-term solution called do this yep. or go back to what brought you here. Yeah. 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 That's we never, we never went the pill route. We always, we were, we were, I was, I was, we were always dead set against the pill route, but we needed help obviously. And uh, it was a lot of the occupational therapy, speech therapy, physical therapy, a lot of motor skill stuff and yeah the uh but yeah we always heard from them if you stop coming then he will revert back to what before you got here wow uh, yeah now did you, did you did you did you buy did you sign up for a uh like a full meal deal package plan like they had 10 <laughs> things to pick from you know like do i get a do i do i sign up on all of them or did it start with one and they kept adding i, I i'm uh I'm out here to understand that I think we started, I think it was just the three, the, the, the three kinds of therapies and they would cycle them out and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was, th those were the three we started with and he stuck with for a while, you know, okay. that went down to speech and then occupational only and stuff like that. But yeah, we were just throwing stuff at the wall, you know, and we, we stayed at that place for a long time. Yeah. So no clear, like, Hey, you can go to school for two years and, yeah, be ready to become a fireman or yeah, no clear, and no okay. clear graduation. Exactly, it's stay, stay, stay. Yeah, and it was it was maintaining. There was no improvement. You know what I mean? So it's like you you're gonna maintain, maybe get a little better, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but you have to keep coming. You know. So you talked about this permanent frown, and yeah. what were you what were you seeing happening to Rowan? Was, was there anything that? Um, like explain a little bit more about Rowan. Like when, when you're yeah. on this with no clear yeah. future. Yeah. Did, did he understood? Did he understand this? But I mean, how was it working he, with Rowan? Yeah. He, I mean, he under, we hated the ride to going to therapy, of course. Um, uh, you know, and it was a lot, you know, a lot of the therapists, of course, were, you know, the, the line of dictators and all that, like, you got, you know, this and this, there's one therapist he really liked. Um, and she stopped going to the place. She found another gig. But the one therapy she really liked, she actually played with him. Right. The one. <laughs> that was the I think that was the only one he actually liked going with because she played games. Right. Uh, the other ones did pretended to play games. But, you know, they're like, I have to do this now. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Well, then, so so there was a spark there, but when she left, it yeah. wasn't it wasn't universal. So it seemed right, no. like it was something that yeah. she might be doing that the other ones weren't. But yeah, talk about a behavior at home. Like, what were you seeing yeah. him do, or what yeah. were the things that his, were his not go to? Working? Yeah, his go to when something you know, like loud noises, what really freaked him out. Any kind of loud noise or any any kind of discomfort whatsoever. His impulse was to go up and run and hit Nicole. That was it. You know, there's, 
we even have like a very an old uh i think it was like a christmas or whatever there's like the train under the tree it made a loud whoo sound he got up and like ran at you you know you can see at the camera running with a little fist at nicole a little four-year-old wow you know? yeah how was like dinner time or any kind of social interactions could you actually leave the house and no. have fun no no we were always home with him whatever we took him everywhere uh you know what dinner time there's no structure you know didn't exist very chaotic uh we were just surviving really now was this when you had two or was this just rowan i mean mostly, where, where did the second rowan. one come in mostly rowan we we found you guys what four or five years now yeah um yeah but uh kalina was two when we first contacted you guys yeah so i'm doing the math they're five years apart six years apart so yeah there was a good three to four years in there we we're just surviving like that you know wow. maybe five even wow. it's just... did it affect any immediate family i mean how was the family being yeah. affected by this i don't even know if there's a term other than we can't go anywhere now yeah i mean we still went places and stuff like that but uh you know it was um uh, we can still kind of go to places or whatever, but you know, he, he was, he was miserable the whole time. And wow. If I'm seeing yeah. something correct, I see an attention stance here yeah. being very patient and yeah, rather than dad, 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 I only heard one. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's take, let's, let's check in to see what she's doing. Coming to her big kid, trusted advisor. Yes. Daddy? Yes. When I do, when I did interview, I just randomly skip the blood mail. Oh, okay. You skipped something that you that. What do you think he did? Why do Why do you think he did that? Is he in? A, he's in a. What well, begins with H? Ha. Um. How? Habit. Habit. Yes. Yeah, do you think he meant habit. that intentionally? Um. No. Okay. Is there a way you can watch another one? Yes. All Keep right. Keep doing my footsteps. Yes, that's it. You're so smart. Good job. Try and put this on your nose. Okay. Is there anything you wanted to share? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, superstar. <laughs> so it would probably be the opposite of that many years ago. Yes, it would have been maybe projectiles. <laughs> so what do I talk about like you found like you had to reach out you're constantly reaching out but how did you find us uh nicole she was she kept searching and searching even though we're going to therapy and all that stuff dead ends right uh i think she found it must uh, a pdf i think it was something bonnie wrote if i recall and she was reading um a lot of uh you know bonnie's story and we're like oh zach is basically rowan or rowan's basically zach everyone is slice it right you know, it just, it was so much like him, you know, and that's what uh, really was the catalyst for giving you guys a call initially. That's how we found you because we, uh, we knew we, that's the, a lot of the principles we knew we just, you know, uh, we didn't know how to apply them. Right. Like we knew showering with gifts was not right. We never really did it. You know, pot pills. No, forget it. But what we're doing ain't working. So yeah. now what? Right. And there you are, you know, <laughs> And sometimes, yeah. and we'll talk about just a moment, what gave you hope with creating yeah. champions for life. But what we're bringing awareness here for all the parents is that, yeah, we might have the remote. And yes, we, we put the battery in and, mm -hmm. and we know that it, that it worked before. And we, we, we know the battery is incorrect because the, the cover yeah. fits. Mm -hmm. But we're pushing all the buttons and we just don't get it. Right. But sometimes there could just be the way that the battery could be flipped. Mm -hmm. inside and so what did give you hope when you found creating champions for life like when you first heard it you understood what we did mm -hmm. talk about the hope of like what could be moving forward um i think it was like seeing you guys um just just reading your story um and and how it was much like ours and how there 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 is hope <laughs> and uh uh the the, I was impressed when I first talked to you. Um, I was, I, I was, you know, I 
a martial artist too, right? That's what drew us, I think, partly together too. Uh, I was, uh, um, I knew this was going to be a great lifestyle because of that. And uh, if I, I know if you can teach the kids class, <laughs> then you know what you're doing with kids. <laughs> I used to do a little bit of that too, and yes, yeah, so I was I was deeply impressed by the by the resume, if that, if you will. You know. <laughs> well, when we were talking about principle based types of things yeah. i think mm -hmm. that's what you're bringing awareness to is yeah. there's there's no hype there's no hopium to the things right. that have been around for thousands of years right and so when you could find out that well gosh zach's story he mm -hmm. was six when he got introduced to creating champions for life roan was four when he could be introduced to creating champions for life mm -hmm. and every single kid blossoms when you can create mm -hmm. the right environment to the positive side it's not a matter of if it's just are you willing to learn how to put the battery the other way around in the remote right, right. And it really is this simple did not say easy it's like learning a new language you got to yep. put some effort into it yep so talk about a little bit about a one of your greatest challenges because when i first met rowan boy yeah. this guy didn't like any kind of change. I mean, he got right in the camera. He got right into like, excuse me, I'm running this place. Yeah. How dare you come in? But yeah, talk about some challenges that you went from, what was the face? To yeah. a smile. Talk a little bit about some victories and challenges that you overcame. The challenges, like him sitting still, like, that was the big one. We were told by the therapist, you cannot expect him to sit still. It's impossible. Don't expect it out of him, right? Redirect. Wait a minute. You you mean he can't just magically get to sixteen and then it kicks in? They're they're talking yeah. lifetime. Yeah, I mean, yeah, wow. for the foreseeable future. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. They were basically talking lifetime. Don't expect him to sit still. You got to find ways for him to you know do whatever. Um, but the 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 power of you know the beauty of goal power is yeah he he sits still all the time. <laughs> so, so going yeah. from fidgety yeah. to buying him a lifetime supply of fidget things yeah to where he can now actually be in control of his own body yes rather than hear a loud noise and come running across the right. room in a panic mode yeah and he has more tools in his tool bag way more that for communication right like that's another thing we were told was like or the methods like to get him to talk were just backwards right they weren't goal driven, nothing, right? No, that's a that's a funny thing. No one bothered to ask him what he wanted. <laughs> I don't blame him for, yeah, you know, of course, I'd be miserable too when I think about it. You know, when you really think about it, I'd be pissed off. Really? No one's hearing me. What made us different is I think he just hit on this to expand on that a little bit. It was changing a perspective it was it yeah. was actually helping them become who and it was about goals expand on that because you had a big transformation yeah. with that big letting him be him and ways to for him to be him i and it's it's another good lesson of uh judgment free goals right you're not going to know what the what's going to motivate them until you ask and when they do boy you be better be open you know what I mean? <laughs> Rowan's first goal that he earned was, uh, I love this story, uh, was a tripod. A, a tripod. That was it. It wasn't, he, and, and he didn't have anything to put on it. He just liked mechanical stuff and how it worked, right? So, hell yeah, have a, we're going to, here's how you can earn a tripod, right? And the, you know, the big, the big adult, you know, is going to graft on it like, oh, what do you, what do you, what do you put on there? No, there's none of that. Zip, zip it right it was there you go goal for his tripod and uh everything we were the life skill was teaching him to sweep the floor right and he was on his last check to, to earn that tripod we were woken up at six o'clock in the morning i heard like rustling around in the kitchen or the dining room and i stick out there i'm like you know hazy i'm, I'm like woken up from a dead sleep and rowan's sweeping <laughs> The, the dining room floor. I'm getting my tripod. I was like, <laughs> you know, yeah. what, you're, what you're expanding on and 
when Bonnie has the book, Raising Healthy, Happy Cooperative Kids, which talks yeah. about the history of how we got here, because we didn't sign up for this in the first place, but we find right. ourselves here. Right. And these are these real true stories of sparks of hope. Yeah. So let me get this straight. When they're running on goal power, yeah. right? Like when is a genius offspring always learning, right? That's they, yeah. they play, it's goal. They're running right. on goal power. There was something important to them. I've yeah. never seen a kid ever have to set an alarm for their birthday party. I've never right. seen a kid ever have to like set an alarm to get up on Christmas morning. Right. I've never seen a kid ever <laughs> have to set an alarm to get up and go do what is most important to them. Yeah. And we're yeah. talking a tripod. Yeah. With nothing on it. Nothing. And he was learning. And this is the sacred part. They have a goal. Yeah. And we show them how to whine, bitch, and complain to get it or <laughs> how they can earn it. What do we do right. on Creating Champions for Life, Tim? How they can earn it. We yeah. have it earn it. But what's sacred yeah. is, you know and I know <laughs> that you have a prime directive right. and a role in Rowan's life. What is it? To prepare him for when he leaves the nest, to teach him the life skills he needs. Period. Period. And when you can run that prime directive, mm -hmm. you showed him how to be responsible and have a cleanliness, if that's a word. Yeah. Right. A, a clean house. Right. By learning how to sweep, mm -hmm. which is a life skill, probably somewhere between zero to two, technically. I mean, like right. two year olds can can sweep if you if right. you believe they can learn. Right. So he actually was practicing a life skill. Mm -hmm. And he was motivated by the tripod. Mm -hmm. Did you have to ask him to do it? Did you have to bug him to do it? Nope. So here's the mom that might be listening <laughs> tonight. They would go, I can't get my kid out of bed with a cattle prod. Right. And here's a kid getting up, running on goal power. Right. Oh, there's got to be a trick. Right. <laughs> yeah. And this was early on, too. Like, that was the first glimpse to all this. I was like, holy moly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give us one. we got time for probably one more tonight. I know we're, we're, we we're got a 30-minute window here tonight, and I know we could be here for hours. Yeah. Yeah. But let's talk about, you know, in martial arts, we've always learned there's a sacred formula on how to control this body, better known as a meat suit. Yeah. And it has to deal with your thoughts and your feelings and the way you breathe. But let's talk a little bit about self-control. When you were able to learn how to give him that life skill called self-control, where I'm in control of my body, and my actions, talk mm -hmm. about that game changer from his perspective. Um, I, that's, that's when, you know, you saw the frown turn upside down the really the life breathing back into his eyes like oh i get to pick oh i get to pick yeah you get to pick yeah so uh, one of the things is that he had three options when i hear a loud noise mm -hmm. uh the loud noise would control me and i would just run like a banshee to mom because that was the only thing that i had yep. training on mm -hmm. But when you gave him the option for self-control, it opened up a couple other options for him. What were they? Um, I get, I, I get to control how I react, you know. And, and what now, did he start doing with these loud noises? Oh, most of the time he he'll just ignore them, or he'll just you know. I hope sometimes he'll flinch a little bit, and and that's it, you know. Wow. Hang on. We got to, this yeah. is a huge moment. Yeah. Kid, parents around the world are being told that there's something wrong with their kid and they can't self-regulate. Right. For whatever reason. Mm -hmm. And Rowan went from, I hear the loud noise mm -hmm. to run to my life for it's called mom or otherwise I'm going to die. That's panic yeah. mode where yeah. he could go. Oh, wait a minute. I can I can block out that hearing. Mm -hmm. And I also have the ability to be it doesn't control me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, his is we he's getting a noise cancellation filter, basically. That's what he's developed, right? Yeah. I can I can also pick not to hear it, you know. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If there was a message that there was hope for parents out there that have done everything. Yeah. And I know from from firsthand when if you know Bonnie's story, mm -hmm. that she searched for six months when I demonstrated this with her kids and she couldn't find any parenting right. that actually was goal oriented driven. Right. And then for the last 13, oh, it was 14 now, still have not found anything that is goal oriented. Yeah. They're, they're going to say that you're a special case. There's, there's got to be something that you're not telling us. It, it, what's the message you would have for parents that if this was real mm -hmm. or are we uh, making something up here, Tim? Talk to the parents of what your experience is. Yeah, uh, as far as making something up, uh, I'm, I'm, I've also I've been deemed the worst liar ever. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> you can sniff it on me a mile away. <laughs> um, I would say to them that there is hope. We've we we've been to the bottom and, and back again. And um, the the. Of course, the power of this goal oriented anything is the, the kids will do whatever to, uh, to to achieve their goal. There's there's not you cannot stop the human spirit. It's impossible. You know, and uh, if you try to squash, you know, if you, you make every attempt to squash their goal, they'll do it behind your back. You know, I think we've all been there. Right. What'd you all yeah. do behind your parents back? Right. Right. <laughs> Before we do go tonight, talk yeah. about the relationship between your genius offsprings and what is the role that you take now, a big kid? Trusted advisor. Talk about that bond that you know that you've not only healed, you've night, right. but you've, you're, you're becoming more and more empowered with. Talk about what that what parents could actually believe could oh, be possible for them, but talk about it for you. Being part of a team. We're all a team. We all work together we, uh, in harmony. Um, and put another finer point on it, the fact that Rowan, you can hug him. By the way, he didn't even like being hugged. Do you believe that? Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine having an offspring that they're like, well, no, they're just yeah. not going to be huggable? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, the you know, the it was re everything he feels like on his skin is super intense, you know, and that's part of the self-control too. That doesn't have to control you. And wow. hug, yeah, hugs are one of his favorite things. <laughs> the wow. son who likes hugs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes we, uh, we have parents that come to us for a very specific reason, you know, how do I get my kid to just listen to me more? Or, you know, they, they think of it might be like a driver's ed course where you, you know, okay, I've been there and done that. So I can, you know, do better with my kids but you took the third option which was more of a lifestyle could you expand on why this would be a lifestyle that you chose once you got introduced to it uh yeah because we saw that, that things were actually improving and they couldn't go anywhere but up and uh, i wanted to you know just keep climbing because there, there's nothing there's no, there's no limit, right? There's infinite potential on this, you know. Right. That's that's mainly the the whole the whole idea is. Now, yeah. when you heard about how Bonnie's kids, mm -hmm. right, the youngest one was six, mm -hmm. all the way up to twelve, and they're all out of the nest now. Mm -hmm. But you heard about who did they all come back to? For a trusted advisor when they're on their next adventure called, I'm looking to buy a car. I'm looking to, to finance yeah. this. I'm looking to go do this in my life. Yeah. And you're not there yet, but right. the future look bright to know that yeah. that sacred bond is so strong that it yeah. doesn't stop when they leave. You'll never yeah. experience emptiness syndrome, as they call it. Yeah, they'll come back. to. They'll come for advice forever. Yeah, because they know you're the, you know, you're like... Uh, the, the saying is to be Yoda. 
<laughs> be Yoda, and uh, they'll they'll always they'll always come back for yes, you know. Yeah, and that's so. <laughs> how true. do I do this? Because they know you'll show them how to do X, Y, or Z on yeah, their. Yeah, because who had their best interest at heart? We did. With zero prejudice, right. zero ulterior motive, or yeah. any kind of wolf in sheep's clothing. Or strings attached. Yeah, yeah, strings attached. Yeah. You yeah. know, before we go here tonight, I want to just show we've offered when people get in onto this as a lifestyle because it is a lifestyle your kids mm -hmm. will always have that sacred bond it doesn't just be like okay i'm done goodbye right <laughs> but what we're talking about here is we would offer tim would you give back what you've learned about the 12 principles that go from know your role all the way up to the language that we speak Mm -hmm. And the different mindsets that you can build and develop yourself and build a family lineage of empowerment. Mm -hmm. We offer a $1 million bribe, which means right. give back everything that you've learned mm -hmm. and promise to never use it ever again for a million bucks. Mm -hmm. And you turned us down. Why? You can't put a price on the human spirit. You just can't. And as soon as you see that glint in your kid's eyes for the first time, that's all we all want in the end. And money's fleeting. You can't take it with you. Very true. Yes, you can take with you. Very true. <laughs> you know, I like to give a shout out. We've got quite a few people that came in here tonight and I do want to take full responsibility of not saying hi, but I do see a few, I see a lot of Facebook users. So you'll have to help me out by putting in your name, but Thank you, Kat, for coming in here tonight. Facebook user, Facebook user. Fa There's Angela. Welcome. Nicole. Thank you. Bonnie, 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 Bonnie. Lots of Bonnies. Oh, there's Chelsea. Yep. Kat again. Oh, Rhiannon, all the way from down under where we're up over. She's in Australia for those that got the joke. Brittany, welcome. And so if I could encourage you. To, if you haven't taken the first step, learn about the history of how you got here so the I don't know has got to go. There's an app. You can go to your app store right on your phone, right? Go to your app. Look up Creating Champions for Life. It's a little blue logo. It says Creating Champions for Life. Download it. It's absolutely free. And you'll get the audio book that Bonnie did a great job putting together to allow you to learn the history. Is, there, is it too late for me? Sparks of Hope and introduce the first step of healing in the Creating Champions for Life philosophy and lifestyle. And take the chance to get that free sample and see if it resonates in your heart because when it does, you can have exactly what Tim has been sharing here tonight. And so I'd like to say thank you so much for tuning in, whether you're on our YouTube or you see this in a replay. And of course, Tim, we always love to celebrate what we're doing in life. So what if we do it together and say, until we meet again, cheers, cheers to our parent success. success. All right. Cheers. Good Bye night, everyone. Now. Bye for now.